Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you guys with another wig review. I mean I freaking love filming this. I had lipstick on my teeth y'all. This is why I do liquid lipsticks. But anyway, I actually just filmed a tutorial for this look right here. Um, this is all Latina owned makeup. But anyway, that should be coming up soon, um, if not already. Uh, so I, if anything, I'll leave it linked down below. But anyway, I'm going to talk about the wig. So my girl Nicole from Girl Rate World, um, who also does wig reviews, amazing wig reviews. She's so freaking pretty, by the way. Anyway, uh, she reviewed the Olga units. I'm not sure if it was a while ago or if it was just recent but I was binge watching her videos and I always click on them to see if they come in colors that I would be appealed to and it does um so this one is the Janet Collections Natural Flow the deep part wig and this one is Olga 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 whatever and this one comes in O1 OET1B silver which is my favorite shade of color ever so i'm gonna go ahead and pop her out try her on and talk about her she is a longer unit um it's probably longer a, by a little bit of the one that i just reviewed from um blue sky sky lace wigs and i just love the <laughs> yeah just be right back um this one is a good texture it's thick I don't see any shedding. Oh, I see one loose hair. Oh, it's a little bit of shedding. Um, I usually get a little bit of shedding in some of my units and then I don't get shedding anymore. The only time that I notice that it's a problem clearly is if it keeps shedding every single time. Now, my original uh, Janet collection is that I first tried ever, my first gray unit, which is Chile or Chow. That's what I've been calling it. Um, from the Janet collections is in the same color and she knots up really badly on me so i'm assuming that if this is the same texture uh, the same brand that it may do the same on me which i'm all right with i can handle it this is the stock card she doesn't look as interesting on the stock card and that's why i've kind of pushed her away but then i saw her on nicole again girl rates world check her out i actually leave her link down below and if you don't already know her uh and she just oh i'm tipping my bald head at you boo because she did a great job she wears it freaking well so the unit itself is a nice length it's a medium long length um it's got uh, about two layers on it two to three layers on it on the front it has more layers um it is a nice texture i will flip the cap over it's got the same basics of any Janet Collections wigs. It's got the neutral cap with the tracks. These tracks look a little bit closer. A small comb in the back, the adjustable straps. It has two combs in the front and it has the lace part is kind of like an L shape. It just curves a little bit and there's the lace in the front. Now the part itself looks like I don't need to do much to it. I don't like my parts too wide um but my first janet collections wig and i still wear her i feel like maybe i should do something to that part and the lace itself i do understand now what my uh friend nicole was saying about the tough lace even though it's stretchy it's almost paper like um so you have to be mindful of that it might kind of chafe on bare skin so uh, yeah be mindful of that so i'm gonna go ahead take my men grooming scissors and cut the lace and be right back so I don't know what to say about her um, she's really pretty um, very long well to me the, the layers are very very long she's beautiful though but I'm probably a little because I'm wearing a little gloss um type lip I feel like maybe I shouldn't be wearing this wig um she's thick but she's got a good amount of hair where it just doesn't look so unnatural on me I feel like this is a little too long but I could probably clip it back so it's got the dark roots throughout at least no no I lied it does not have the dark roots throughout so it has the dark roots where you can see them. As you guys can see, the hair is pulled back. I don't really like 
my units pulled too close to you guys see I'm like just turning her <laughs> so I like my I love my side parts I think the side parts are like the best thing ever um she might use a little bit of waving a little bit or maybe not maybe it'll naturally do it I'm leaving her like kind of just up I'm not trying to straighten her too much I do like her she's really pretty this color is I guess I wasn't expecting another long unit there is still some shedding going on but I did just take a whole bunch of hairs from right here twist them and pluck them out because they were just scraggling like right in the center um my natural roots duh you guys can see they're very very dark this hair feels natural it's a light it's a yakky texture like a light texture to me um yeah it's like a light yakky texture it's not too coarse um it is pretty there is no shine on this unit at all and it could be because it's great on my camera the reflection i'm seeing here it looks like there could be a little bit of shine but it's not too bad i'm actually going to do something with the part real quick because i think that that's what is probably throwing me off because i'm paying a little bit more attention to the parts lately and she's kind of long <laughs> um i love the waves on it i love that she's not like dead straight because i feel like the other wig that i had to actually straighten looks it has too much hair even though she's beautiful the the sky lace one i love janet collection wigs this one's nice and thick you feel like you could do a good this is hair right here um the lace on it is not too bad as you guys can see this is where my hair is this is the lace my hair clearly clearly um i'm wondering if i can like tuck in I'd be extra with the tuck in now like uh, -uh. so you can definitely tuck it in a little bit just to kind of get that little strip of hair out of your face I'm not fond of doing that to the front but she actually does look cute that way I'm gonna show you guys the part before I mess with it it's about four inches it comes up to here it does curve slightly as I showed you guys from the cap if I was wearing a nude cap I feel like it would look more realistic so i'm just gonna go ahead and hit it up right here into the skin and that like almost instantly looks good like all i have to do is like go like this and i'm good but you know i like to take it right here you can split the hair up a little bit so that like my baby hairs are just like they're out of hand guys i don't know what to do with my baby hair so i'm just gonna go in and clean up this part just a smidge like my friend nicole and some more from some more loves tv as well I'll leave their channels both linked down below. Like they said, this is big head friendly um, because there is some space on the cap here. My hair is just like very thin though. So if you do have quite a bit of hair or a good amount of hair, this wig should fit comfortably. I do have it on its tightest setting because I don't have much hair, if at all any. So um, I love the feel of it. Um, I do kind of wish that she had a little bit more layers, but I feel like the color is perfect um going to turn on the side because this has been a real pet peeve of mine with my last wig is that it looked just too much back here and if all else fails i might press it with heat um but i feel like she looks really good and natural so i'm gonna go ahead turn around and show you guys the back on my squeaky chair say hello to my squeaky chair maybe we should name her anyway so here's the wig um from the back um, she is loose right here right now, but I could probably pull her and make her, you know, fit a little bit better. She's got a beautiful color. I'm hoping it's focused. And this is the length right here. She flows very well. I do not feel the tracks as easily. Clearly, if you're looking for them, you will find them. Um, I feel like the hair flows really nicely. I hope that was focused guys i failed to mention that i did pick her up at hairstopandshop.com which is where i got my previous wig as well and that's where i got my first janet collections um silver wig so again i'm so i will leave all the information down below where you can get her this beauty right here from the website that i got her i got her with my own coins so no this was not sent to me well i mean it was sent to me but mama bought it honey um and i just I saw her on Nicole and I was like, need. I absolutely have been loving gray hair. I don't know if I'm gonna steer too far from gray hair anytime soon. I absolutely loved my red hair when I had it, but you know, I decided to 
go all natural granny style so you know i got the abuelita hair and i'm okay with it i think you can rock it too if that's your cup of tea if not this one comes in quite a few colors so um yeah i mean janet collections has a good array of shade ranges so go on check her out down below if you're interested so anyway guys that's pretty much it for my janet collections olga unit review i got in, i got it in the shade oet1b slash sova aka granty hair um yeah i hope you guys like this video please thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and as always i will see you guys in my next video love you guys bye